What is poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We've got a matchup that you've probably never seen before as we are going to have a Dark Masters Omni Mirror. Uh, this footage provided from the Harlequin Games, Harlequin Games Evo Cup thanks to uh, Jambo TCG or Tamer Jambo, whatever he's going by nowadays. We've got uh, Fanboy Zone, Derek on the right with the Proto Gizmon. It looks like we're going to see the Lady Devimon sent in response which is going to pop itself at the end of the opponent's turn, which it probably will live. And we're going to see just the one choke once again, coming down with the Lady Devi. Lady Devi going to pop the Proto Gizmon in order to get the Piedmon in there. So pretty clean. Definitely going first seems to be an advantage. And it looks like we're going to see the Giga Dramon come down again, searching for two targets, does get the pickup and adds them back. And then we're going to pop the Lady Devi and the Lady Devi is going to play the Puppetmon. So Pinokimon in the back, and we are going to have the Piedmon move up. Piedmon is going to swing, is going to pop the Gigadramon, and is going to hit into the first of the Omnis, popping out of security. Down comes the Gigadramon of the player on the right's own, and there you can see the ultimate Chaosmon. And we're going to pop the Piedmon just to keep the number of units that are uh, in the active. Puppetmon obviously great at clearing suspended bodies, so you might as well get rid of it. Zwart D surviving on the check-in, and down comes another five. This is definitely one of those matchups where we're just going to be swinging the memory gauge. I think Derek opening with the Proto is pretty clean. We are going to see pop like for like there with the end of turn, and we do get the Machine Dramon in the back, kind of just uh, playing Simon Says. No D Digivolve to be done here. But there's no reason really to keep the Machine Dramon in there. Yes, you're potentially threatening an ace with the Lady Devi because you can't actually clear it in this instance. But if you go into the Zwart D, you again get to keep the number small and you get to play double Lady Devi Mon out from trash. Or you could go Lady Devi and Jewelmon. Not that it matters here, as we're going to get the pickup and we are going to get four cards deep and double ace here, pretty much saying, don't you dare. Don't you dare go sideways. Obviously, it, the Machine Dramon would just be able to instantly de evolve anything that goes through. So we are just going to try and keep things nice and small. As we go pop for pop, like for like. Swing in is going to pop once again. And then in comes the Ace. Suspend both of them. And that prevents it as we do see the swing into the Valk Ace as well. And now a Omnimon of his own as we're going to mill three and then we're going to play out again uh, two of the level five. So double pick up there with the Apocly and the Omni. And then we're going to pick up double aces as well. End of turn, we're going to get the pop and then out comes the Pinoki to the back. Piedmon can pop one of these, but can't really pop the other, which is a bit of a problem. I feel like the Edamon is pretty guaranteed like I think that's a pretty guaranteed follow-up. Because I guess what you can do in this instance is you could swing the Piedmon. Ooh, okay. I'm going to switch out the Piedmon to get the Machine Dramon down, cycle through, get the D-Digivolve to take these what? But I don't fully know what you gain outside of just making sure that you can't use the removal aspect of it. Whoa! Down comes the DNA. We did see the ultimate Chaos Mon, of course, so we do get to load up the, the Digivolve as well as the thing, which is going to be full board clear, and he spent no memory for it. And now you can just swing for the three check, surely, right? Surely there's no reason to not, yeah? In we go. Uno, dos, out it comes, and three, everything. Just clear it all. Get rid of it. Yeah, you get a... There is an Omnimon Zwart, the Portal of Security, the second one, but this one should be a... Not a turn skip, but basically as close to turn skip as you can get. We are going to swing and Mega Gargomon Ace makes the most sense here because you stop them both from evolving. So that will basically end the turn. We're going to let that first check go through as he's not going to attempt to block it. And then end of turn is going to pop the Zwart, which is going to pop on the way out. So doesn't get to stop that, which is a bit unfortunate. And you, I mean, seeing the Master Ace in there kind of explains why the Andrew Woman is there. Because I guess if you just get the Lady Devi on field and they're trying to ignore it, then it's a serious danger. And then we're going to see the Apocalypse come down because, I mean, there's enough Dark Masters in trash here. And, ooh, the Wise Mon, okay. And end of turn, you get to load up a level 6. 
could load up any Digimon, really. I'm going to go for the Edamon to load up, so that way you can potentially play out a low play cost body, but I don't think that's really something you have to worry about. Uh, how many cards are we milling? It is... Because it is only the level 6, we're actually not milling a crazy amount here. Do attempt to end the game as we are going to go into the Vikemon. Vikemon is going to de-digivolve. We're going to go down and we are going to swing and then both go into trade. So, going to stay where we are as far as overflow is concerned. Uh, if he drops a Vikemon of his own, at the very least he'll turn off the Apocly, which should keep him safe from deck out. But it looks like we're instead just going to go super deep. And then we're going to pop itself to put the Piedmon in the back. And then that is going to cycle into a Piedmon of his own as the Pinokimon switches out. Mother D in the back, so we're finally going to see that egg hatch for the first time. And these two are given quite a bit back and forth. The game does slowly edge towards uh, the left player, but they haven't been able to find a finish for it. But they're going to go into the Omnimon Zwart, which is going to play out the Wisemon and is going to play out the Lady Devi. Oh, never mind. We're going to play out the Vike Monastery because of the play cost. Get the Wisemon. And then we are set up quite nicely. This should be mil 10. Just double check. Not everything. So we do get to play the game just barely. I don't know how you... That you you do actually have to get rid of this... You do actually have to get rid of this uh, Apoc somehow. And there's the threat potentially of a Blastivo still. So despite putting him down to basically nothing, he has to effectively like make the ultimate Chaos Mon with the stack that's out. Three cards left, which means also you can only get two Evos. But still, Ultimus Chaos Mon could potentially still board clear here. We're going to go for the DDG Evolve, which is going to take the mill potential off. And then we're going to pop and float. But this is still a decent number of bodies on board. Like, just swinging the Omnimon's Watch should be enough to pop the Bike Mon Ace. We're going to go into Piedmon, Piedmon, pop and unsuspend. And we're going to make an ultimate Chaos Mon of our own, which is going to clear it up. And we are going to scoop and go into game two. Whilst they are getting shuffled up, I do want to say a big old thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel. Big thank you, of course, as well to Jambo for so providing the footage. But for our members, we do have Just Justice Josh and the Mega Tier, who is an ultimate here on YouTube, as well as a Tier 3 on Twitch. For our ultimates, we do have the Tommy NT, Tommy Tricks on the Sticks, 3 Strike Rule, and Brad. And then for our champions, we do have Shinny Carry, Coffee Deus, DHM, Sol Ouroboros, King of Knights, Andy Fing, Squid Eater, Benji Gibber, Thomas Yates, Kenneth Smith, and new Thermata FGC. Game two gets ready to rock. We've got our security laid out. And it looks like the left player gonna be going first. Cherry Mon comes down. We are gonna get the double pick up and a Pine Mon in the back. Demi Mera again, just getting the pop, the uh the low memory searches, so that way you don't have to pass over a criminal amount of memory. It's pretty nice. We're gonna see the analog youth come down. The Parasite Mon, I'm assuming, is just to make sure that uh, you have some slightly cheaper non-ace ways of getting security inherits and stuff like that for your ultimate Chaos Mon, as we do have that in the trash. And the Lady Devi is going to come down, find two ace targets, get a pop on the Proto, and then in comes the machine in the back. So really, really clean. Obviously going first if you don't have that proto gizmon does give me you have to pass over so much you just saw the number of game actions that the player on the right got to take compared to the player on the left obviously they are going to have their level five cleared so it's not all great like you would pr probably in this mirror want to see the piedmon as often as possible gonna see the pop as we go like for like the piedmon early game is pretty clean and then after that you kind of i think want to go into the uh, machine drum on, so that way you can answer what they've got as we are going to see both Mephisto and the Lady Devi come down so that's the Lady Devi and then the pop on the Mephisto is going to put the Piedmon there and then that is going to be the Mephisto turning into a Piedmon which is going to clear Piedmon of his own which is then going to float into the uh, Mega Seedramon which bounces out the 
remaining target. Gonna see a D Digivolve as it pushes out, does swing straight back down to the Machine Dramon. And are we. No, there's no level 7 Ace. We're gonna. Well, I guess there is the Master Ace, which is gonna show up immediately to get hit out of security. Second time it's happened that. It's gonna hit into the Angelmon Ace, and then a Wise Mon comes down. It's gonna pick up the machine, and there's gonna be the metal, the, the regular Edamon going to the bottom. Can see the pop on the way out? No, we are going to move out with the Piedmon. And again, like you could make the machine here. It's going to swing. It's going to pop. The Wise Mon does survive the check, and then we go into the Omni Mon, which is then going to mill. And then you could try and go for a turn skip. Like maybe you you play the Adam. Oh wait, uh, it's eight play costs. So I think the Adam one is just slammable for. I mean, Edamon 7 play cost, so Edamon plus some sort of ace is kind of criminal. Ooh, gonna go for the Maste, okay. Maste and the Lady Devi. Whoa, and then down comes the Anjuwoman as well off of that, and then the Mire. Okay, Derek, I see you. Then we're gonna go for the uh, DNA, thanks to the Mire. <laughs> and then out comes, yeah, out comes uh, Mephisto. And we're gonna snatch back the memory. So passing over to assembling the goons. This, that, that was like Royal Knights level Omnimon. Like, all right, everyone get out of the Uber. That was crazy. We're just gonna see a Machine Dramon, which is gonna get a D-Digivolve, which is gonna bring back the Maste, but Golly, bro. Bro is doing too much. And this is four, this is four on four checks potentially. So he just needs to find a little bit more value. And that's where your four checks will come from. I mean, you could just make an ultimate chaos mon here to be safe. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Goodbye machine. And then this will be loading up the extra sources. We're going to swing in for all the checks. And then we're going to swing and wow, game three on the cards. Whilst they are going and taking us to that third and final game, I'm going to say a third and final shout out to our rookies. Do you have Greatness Beam, Ryan Balfi, Bonsai Beard, and Turtle Sovereign. And then for our Digi Eggs, we do have Jambo TCG. Once again, big thank you to for the footage. John Esposito, Rose Pierce, Christian Royal, Solander Sains, Yuxo, Evan Turner, Onyx Arlen, King Fujitoro, Jean Minos, and Walter Caceres. The third and final game. And who's going first? Presumably he's going to make the player on the right go first, even though that one choke has been pretty brutal each time. But this time it's just going to be the Analog Youth. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see a hatch if you were just going to Analog Youth. Like, you might as well, like... Well, I mean, we, I guess we don't have Mother Shoto, so it's not like you really even have to worry about it. I'm going to see the Lady Debbie come down. So this time, not quite as aggressive as Board Presence. And we are going to see it pop itself to put the Poppinmon in there. And we're just going to see the Giga Dramon come down again. Not hatching here, as we are going to see the... Probably Valk Ace picked up. Valk Ace and the Machine Dramon. So that's going to be the first Ultimate Chaos to the bottom. And then it's going to pop itself and put a Machine Dramon in the back. Again, not ideal, but he's not really giving him too much. They're both playing on empty boards. Down comes Wisemon. Wisemon again, digging as we're going to send cards to the bottom. Not filtering quite as hard, but does add a target. With them plenty of level sixes in hand. But the Puppemon are actually staying in the back, interesting enough. I guess because he wasn't going to be getting too much, he just wanted to kind of play a little bit safe. And we're going to see the low pass here of just three, which I guess in this matchup is a low pass as the Valkyrie gets slammed. Uh, committing Mercy Mode would be an interesting way of clearing. We're going to evolve for six, and the Mercy Mode is going to just shoot the Valkyrie and then bot deck everything, and then that should be overflow four. Putting himself back to one and then swing in, does hit the Edamon. And if it makes it back to him, that's going to be a free trash at the end or, yeah, the start of the next turn. And finds another Mercy Mode. So both of them on really interesting techs at the top end. Uh, I mean, it's not making it back to him, let's be real. Machine Dramon is just going to push straight back out. Yeah, he probably gets aced, but you at least take the burn check off the board. 
At least that's the way I see it, personally. It looks like we're not gonna do that, we're instead, we're just gonna burn top card of security as the mercy mode returns. And we're not gonna push out the machine drum on just yet. Never mind, yes, we are. I mean, we're looking at three checks. We don't actually have lethal from this position. Swing the first one. Ooh, pops the wise mon. Should have done it in the other way around. Forgot that, yes, that is how the Valk works. Down comes the Omnimon's Wart. So not quite throwing lethal, but definitely slowing the lethal clock down, giving a little bit more time. I'm gonna pick up the the Edamon and the uh, Omnimon's Wart, as well as just showing the Apocalypse was picked up of that as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if next turn we just see the Apocalypse come down. We do need a means of getting around this uh, Giga Dramon, which is kind of unfortunate here, if you are Derek. If you swing, you get a pop on a Wisemon, but that's even if it makes it there. Like basically any ace going over it would completely shut it down. But then again, in theory, as long as that ace doesn't stop the Machine Dramon, the Machine Dramon is going to just give you four free memory. So I don't hate the idea of pushing up here. And if you do, do you have the colors for, uh, you do have the colors for Ultimate Chaos as well, I believe. Actually, no, I'm missing is it purple green. Looks like we're gonna swing with the Valk first to see what happens. It's kind of a decent swing either way, unless you do get the suspension, which is actually going to cause some problems. It's gonna be that one check in. And now, if you slam, no, cause you do actually need to take something off the board here. Yeah, you really need to take something off the board here in some situation. I do lose the analog youth because of the uh, grand coup. Although I don't think that's actually going to matter. However, security card was checked. So that does mean we do get to kill the Giga Dramon, which kind of slows the progress down now if you do get a little bit more value. Just gonna be a raw Evo, but still gonna be enough to clear off. And then we get the memory back thanks to the overflow. So now we've taken lethal off board in terms of number of just raw checks. And we're just gonna see the Pinocchio. Oh, okay, now we're gonna see the Lady Devi moment. So we are gonna pass over a reasonable amount of memory as we do pick up the ace target and it's gonna pop itself. Actually taking the ace back off the field, which is kind of surprising. It's gonna put the Piedmon back in. So now you're kind of in a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Reboot does mean that you are being threatened and we are going to see the mercy mode come down again. That's gonna be everything bottom decked, which is just so criminal. Like in this matchup, it feels really, really good. We're gonna swing and we're gonna swing. It's not gonna die though, because the Parasimon is criminally weak. That's like rookie level. And we're gonna go into the Epochly to try and mill out at the end of turn. I mean, not even reaching the end of turn, it's just that cheap. No MDA to be had. We're just gonna go into the Omnimon's War mill once again. And then out come the Wisemon, out comes the Giga Dramon decks off camera now, but... Plenty of pickups, really not that many cards in, in deck from the sounds of it. I do wish they would just build th their board like a little bit more just so we can see it, because you know, that deck is in Narnia now. Uh, the APOC is going to get milling, so we're going to mill... I really don't understand why they don't put the level sixes under. So they're just, they like you could aggressively mill way more. Gonna swing, immediately kill the APOC and that's gonna be going into security. Are we gonna see any aces? We can see the Mega Gargamon ace, which is then gonna block. Down comes the Vikemon. Vikemon is gonna get a Digivolve, so it does get to keep the turn. And then I just think you've been set back so far in this situation where you really can't you really can't make anything unless you slam an Angelwoman Ace. I think he's just looking to see what's in the trash. Like, I think if he slams an Angelwoman Ace or a Lady Devi, then, you know, the Master Ace could do something. But it looks like we're just going to hard play the Master Ace. It's going to bring out the Lady Devi. Lady Devi then is going to... Mm, okay. Master Ace and Imperial Ace. Okay. Oh, Pally Ace. Okay. And we just have to have another Angelwomon because we did see one get bottom deck. And then end of turn, do you want to pop something or are you just going to leave it? All right, 
So we are going to trash. Obviously, there's nothing there. We're going to draw from a deck that does look suspiciously big now. And do we have just instant clear, like evolving into... Okay, no. It's still not evolving into a Piedmon, which is what I would have liked to see. But we are going to see the Digivolution, which is going to go all the way up into the Zwar. And we are going to make the Maste Ace. No, we're not. We do not have the LS Loss. So that is going to be a game. If you like what you saw and you do want to see more, consider hitting the like button and subscribe. And as always, have yourselves a damn good one. Bye.